I spoke about a philosophy of vocation, which is that we need to enable young people to realize that the first vocation is to love. And then I went on to talk about how heads and teachers can express this through the curriculum. And finally spoke a little bit about the head can retain a vocational voice, provided they have a contemplative attitude to the horizon of the whole school enterprise and don't get drawn down into too many of the crises, but rather continue to hold on to that longer term vision. In so far as people now think about vocation at all, they usually default to a position that involves saying, everybody has a vocation, and then suggest that you discover your vocation by finding out what you really want to do and then doing it. This is accompanied by slogans such as, follow your star, go for it, be true to yourself. This produces vocations advice along the following lines. Teacher, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> Student, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. We might call this the Spice Girls approach to vocation. A school has to have a philosophy, it can't avoid that, it can't just be apparently neutral. It must have a philosophy beyond saying, well, you can all do what you like provided you don't harm other people. There must be something more proactive than that. And I offered love, faith and hope as that framework where the curriculum then becomes the vehicle through which we teach people the skills as to how they live out that, especially through their work. And so it's giving that framework concrete expression through not just assemblies, but also through the taught curriculum. We need instead to consider how we can create a curriculum with a vocational heart, a pedagogy shot through with a vision of humanity. So I offer a simple but demanding way to bring together vocation and the curriculum. A curriculum that has as its core aim to enable all students to answer the question, what kind of person would you really like to be? What kind of person would you really like to be? With such a vision at its heart, this would be a vocational curriculum in the profoundest meaning of the word vocational. I was a member of HMC for uh, eight years. It's an organization that keeps you in touch with the broader developments of education. So you know you'll find experts here on what's happening, what the trends are, what's likely to be coming over the horizon, and that's really, really useful for heads. Secondly, you find people who share common problems. You realize you're not alone in facing these problems. And finally, you can find a, a, a communion of spirit with other people, not necessarily with everybody, but you can find comrades who share the same values, uh, and that can be really important too.